Hey everybody, it's Allie with Alley Cat RVs based out of Holiday World RV here in Alvarado, Texas. And behind me today, I have the 2021 Winnebago Voyage that we are going to take a look at. Let me flip the camera around. I'll tell you a little bit about it and a little bit about what we do. All right, starting here with the front. Um, I want to dive down here and to show you I love the storage bay here because most of the time, oops, here we go, most of the time we see batteries stored in here, but our batteries have a separate compartment um, that allows this to be opened up, so you have all of this space in here for whatever you need. Now, in addition to that space, you have a cubby right up here, if I can get this open, there we go, and you'll see a little bit easier uh, once we get around to the side but you'll notice that this is actually opened up through the pass-through storage on the side and this will be your 50 amp power cord that it comes with so you have access to that whole open area we'll come around the side here first and i'm going to back up and just show you now this is in excellent excellent condition i'll point out any flaws as we continue to go about um, anything that you might need to know about because I do have a lot of customers that are looking at these from a long distance or from out of state and I want to be sure that you know what you're getting now you've got your battery disconnect here your compartment for your battery um, this battery is currently dead right now so we're going to replace that battery we're going to get you a new battery and then we're also going to make sure your propane tanks on the other side are both filled now this is going to be your convenient center with all your water hookups. Notice you've got your pools there. You've got all your controls there for whether you want to fill up the tank, whether you want to use dry camping. Your automatic leveling, it has automatic leveling, is right there. And then you've got, this is going to control some of your front lights. I'm going to turn that on. We'll take a look at that in a bit. But that's automatic four-point leveling. You've already got your bug screens on there, and this is where your 50 amp is going to um, attach. Looking at the side here, this is just mainly going to be some dirt and grime um, that tends to happen on those slides, but nothing, nothing major there. Everything looks great with the slide floors. Got the side of the refrigerator. Coming around to the back, you'll notice we've got a ladder back here. Um, not only do you have your reverse lights, but you have your backup lights built into here. That is a nice, nice feature. And then also, um, it is suitable for a cargo rack. Now, cargo rack meaning it's just a rack. It's not made to pull boats, trailers of that nature. But you can put, um, you know, whether you can put a generator, ice chest, any kind of cargo, things like that on there. Um, even a rack for some kayaks, perhaps. The awnings are in excellent condition. Um, I actually don't believe that they've been out very much before, mainly because of how clean they are, but also because of um, actually how they're kind of crinkled. It may be kind of hard to see in the video, but the way that they were wrapped up just seems to me like they haven't been out very, very much. Uh, excellent condition. You've got awning lights under both of these. You can kind of see them. It's hard to see in the video since they are LEDs. You can see them in that one outdoor speakers are right here by the solid steps now looking in here this is going to be the other side of your pass-through storage we've got a light right there so you can see what i mean there's that power cord so you can see what i mean about having one big open space here so even this is a little bit more narrow than we see on some of them you still have all that space there for your larger items and access points for both sides this is just going to be your two propane bottles said we will make sure that those are going to be filled for you these are going to be the 30 pound bottles for those of you who are wondering you can interchange those however you want but that's what comes with it all right we will jump inside and take a look so first thing is the screen screen door is in good condition no sides signs of any animal wear and tear you know holes or anything here and it does include your shade there in the door you just open up this screen here and you can access this and move it around move it up it does need to be tightened a little bit but i'm sure we can get that worked out for you all right coming inside here um, the first thing is your control panel this is going to control all your awnings, which I just put out for the video. 
and then it controls my hands are a little bit cold so it's not there we go um, but it controls all your awnings your lights your slides um, your leveling you can even control through here for those of you who don't know i actually full-time in a fifth wheel and this is the same panel i have i love that you can level through this it actually shows you a diagram yep there it is um, so you can control everything independently low battery yes i know i've already mentioned that it's another reason it's not wanting to cooperate real good with me come on we'll come there we go In your home screen you can program certain things to stay here or just turn all the lights off all the lights on hopefully you can see that a little bit better um, your tanks they're all empty right there as you can see they're not filled in anyways pretty cool little feature it is prepped for Wi-Fi and then you've got two light controls right here you can see that's the one above the kitchen um, and again that's because we don't have I'm working off my 12 volt cart here the lights are flickering because it needs the new battery so don't worry too much about that um, this light I'll be honest, I don't know exactly which this switch goes to, but we're gonna find out. All right, let's close this door so we get a little bit more even lighting in here. So you've got your large refrigerator here, starting with the kitchen. This opens up into one big fridge. So you have plenty of fridge space, two freezer compartments. And also to the right here with the coffee bar um, I, first of all let me just back up so you can see it I love the space here I love the cabinetry you've got a pantry here and then that's actually a wireless charger for your phone open it up this pantry there's a good amount of space here sometimes you know a size of a can is about right here you could probably fit uh, I would say two maybe three smaller cans of veggies or whatnot there so you've got a lot of space in that pantry some of them are very very narrow this one is actually pretty decent coming into the kitchen you've got hard top counters okay these are solid surface that's what i meant solid surface countertops solid surface sink covers and then of course you've got your nice faucet there your solid stainless steel bowl got your oven three burner stove top and everything look how clean everything is I just want to mention that it was treated in so clean your convection microwave and then this door close that it popped out somebody didn't close it very good I'll put those away after the video lots of storage under the sink like that is really good storage your drawers lots of cabinet space in here okay they did excellent on that as we come into the living room area you've got your TV your TV is on a um, it's got an arm back there so you can pull it out face it different directions you've got an electric fireplace down there that'll put out some pretty good heat and then your Jensen radio your zone A is gonna be inside zone B is gonna be those outside speakers you can control them um, turn them both on or alternate them as you like all of your window shades throughout here are going to have the uh, roller shades so the nicer ones that um, are not the accordion style you just pull them down like that click them into place let them go and they roll up on their own this is going to make into a sleeper sofa you've got 110 and USB USB plugs here on both sides and then you've got your two recliners there with your theater seating this is going to be your dining table. Again, more plugs everywhere. Just want to mention that. So it is a little bit dark in here because the lights are so dim. Bear with me on that. I'm just going to kind of scan here so you can see this living area. It's very, very open space. It's not claustrophobic at all. Um, and the furniture, everything is in excellent condition. Um, you've just got a little bit of something there and I think that that probably will come off but just in case we can't get it off I wanted to mention that right there um, and then also it did tear just a little bit here it was traded in like that I don't know what caught it um, but you've got that little piece there we might be able to make that look a little bit better but again I like to disclose these things just in case 
we can't make them look a little bit better. We don't certainly don't want to make them look any, you know, worse than they are. All right. Oh, and also in here, before we move on, that's going to be a 15,000 uh, BTU AC. And then you've got your vent fan above this um, kitchen area here that is going to be rain censored. So you can, um, it'll automatically close if the, if it senses rain. Handle here, going up the steps. Now your bathroom and uh, bedroom, you can make one big circle, go in and out from both directions. Got a stainless steel sink in here. Um, and then this kind of brings me to mention too, is gonna be your uh, water heater it is going to be a 10 gallon, not a six gallon, it's a 10 gallon. So you've got good water there, a porcelain toilet, really nice shower, and that is gonna be level with the floor. And then you've also got the skylight above. So if you are on the taller side, this would be an excellent choice RV for you because you don't have to worry about being too tall for the shower. I know that's always a really big thing, um, whether you're talking fifth wheels or travel trailers. You've got the slide out wardrobe in here, queen bed, and you've got plenty of plugs on each side, USB and 110. Let me move around to the other side so we can see a little bit better here. That's actually a bolted in safe, so that safe is included. And then you have a second AC ducted in. This one's gonna be a 13 and a half BTU. Um, your TV in here is included. So overall, really nice bedroom setup. Lots of storage space. That's one thing they really did a great, great job on on this RV. Tons of space there for your clothes. Um, I believe the only reason it's backwards is because you control it through the panel. This light switch is backwards. If I turn it up, the lights go off. If I turn it down, the lights go on. But I believe it's just because it's backwards on that panel. It happens to me all the time in my own place. All right. Um, trying to think if I missed anything else. Now, the total length of this trailer is going to be 32 and a half foot long. Um, so it's a great size where it's portioned enough that you, like I said before, you don't feel claustrophobic, it's open, it's spacious, um, but you can get into pretty much any park. There are very, very few parks that are restricted at 32 and a half foot long. So you'll have lots of access there. Uh, beautiful kitchen facilities. You've got your fireplace, big TVs in both rooms, tons of storage. This is an excellent trailer. Oh, and then you've got, those are lights. This is going to control your lights up above in there. That's what those switches are for. But as I was saying, beautiful, beautiful trailer. Um, it's got lots of amenities. It's pretty much brand new condition. Um, if you have any questions about this trailer, if you'd like to consider purchasing it, and you have some questions on how to move forward with that, or perhaps this is not the exact trailer for you and you are interested in what else I have available, I do sell new and pre-owned. We've got everything from your teardrops, your travel trailers, your 